The IGP has instituted the Police Awards and Commendations Night scheduled for April 15, 2024 at the Transcore Eating Hotel, Abuja. This event aims to boost morale among our officers and inspire the culture of professionalism and excellence. Addressing the critical housing challenges our officers face, the Nigerian Police Force Housing Summit is scheduled for April 22nd to 23rd, 2024. The summit will focus on viable housing solutions and the launch of the police fund to support officers' accommodation needs. Now turning to recent crime fighting achievements. Within the period under review, we have recorded the arrest of 385 armed robbery suspects 238 kidnapping suspects, 341 murder stroke homicide suspects, 87 suspects connected with the unlawful possession of prohibited firearms, 143 rape suspects, 151 suspected cultists, and we have recovered 143 various firearms, 741 ammunition of various caliber. We have recovered 72 stolen vehicles and rescued in total 461 kidnapped victims across the country. Some of the alleged cases across the country include the following. Foiled kidnappings to rescue of victims. On 29th of February 2024 at about 10.30 p.m., Hand bandit with sophisticated weapons blocked Maraba Bangori along Guzao Funtua Road in Faskari local government Casino State. Attacked a Ford vehicle with registration number K2 317DH, conveying passengers and route Guzao to Kaduna and driven by one of the drivers, Haba Lawa, male 26 years, with intent to kidnap them. Upon receipt of these reports, operatives from Casino Command rushed to the scene and engaged the bandits in a gun duel, leading to the rescue of the driver and all eight passengers, all from Nasarawa State. The rescued victims have been united with their families, and the command has been combing the surrounding bushes to get the fleeing members of this deadly gang. In another case of arrest of suspected gun manufacturers, to recovery of arms. On 5th of March 2024, a team from Operation Zanda JTF, in collaboration with police operatives, a village and hand manufacturing hideout at Amahundu, Nave Gwande local government area of Benue State, and arrested the following suspects. Tera Tafa, a.k.a. Gaddafi, male 24. Haundunungen Seha, male 36, yes. Tokuma Lohala, male 27. Angeo Atim, male 25, yes. Saf Tawase, male 35. Gundu Babogun, male 50. Tawase Shimashan, male, 25, 20 years. Teresa Tavel, A.K. Gate, male, 18. And Adinga Ramsey Idoa, male, 33 
years from a neighboring country, Cameroon. SDP recovered from them include eight Barretta pistols under fabrication, one AK-47 rifle, 10 AK-47 life ammunition, five Barretta pistol ammunition, four welding gas cylinders, and other fabrication materials. All suspects confessed to being involved in manufacturing of illegal firearms. And I think this is one of the achievements we have recorded as a result of our collaboration with the military, particularly this operation, Zenda and JTF, that we have these suspects who are manufacturing arms and ammunition. Like I said the other time, that we focus more on disseminating these guns. Because without these illegal arms, some of these criminally minded elements do not have the infantry to be venturing into some of these crimes and criminality in Abuja, Federal Capital Territory. Operatives of the Federal Capital Territory Command on 24 February 2024, acting upon credible intelligence, stormed Saldana, Toto Forest, and arrested one Samaila Wakili Fafa, aka Abu Ibrahim. A kidnapping on the command water list and has a bounty placed on him by the Honorable Minister of the Federal Capital Territory. He confers to several killings done by himself and his gang, including the abduction of one barista Chris Agidi, the legal hail to one of our senators and one Mr. Sunday Yahaya, the village head of Keti Village who were both killed by him. He led operative to where he buried the remains of these late barristers whose corpse was exhumed and deposited at Guadalajara General Hospital. Like I always say, no criminal can run away forever. You can only run, you cannot hide. We will surely get to you. No offense committed Every offense committed leaves a trace. We surely look for you and get you apprehended. Another case, raid on IPOB ESN hideout in um, Enugu State Command. And we have another one in Ebony State Police Command where some of these members of IPOB ESN were arrested and many items recovered from them from Enugu State Command and Ebonye State Command, respectively. We have many of the suspects that are undergoing interrogation at the command level in Enugu and Ebonye State Command. We have arrest of armed robbers and recovery of arms. Uh, this is from Ujigawa State on 9th of March 2024. Our operatives, in conjunction with local vigilantes, Acting upon credible intelligence, storm in the Angoli Fulani camp of Kiawa local government and arrested two suspects in connection with the case of culpable homicide and robbery, which was reported on the 7th of March 2004. We have the suspect, Belo Usman, 20, Musa Babangira, male, 18 years, all of Kiawa local government in Jigawa state. As we recovered from them are two AK 47 rifles four magazines, 68 rounds of life ammunition, one constructed leg chain, eight handsets, one boxer bajaj motorcycle, and of course, Ecowas passport, belonging to one of them. Card sum of 221,000 naira, five SIM cards, one solar panel. We are still on with our investigations, and surely they will face the full road of the law. Today, on the premises of this department, Force Intelligence Department, IRT, and STS, we have a total number of 22 criminal suspects. Okay, I take that again. I think the number has increased, please. To have a total number of 45 criminal suspects whose days of crime are finally over.
and are ready to give chilling confessions about their criminal activities. The arrest is a result of concerted efforts of the first intelligence department, RT and the first intelligence department, STS. Displayed at today's press briefing are the following items. Cash sum of 126,500 Naira. One school driver, one jackknife, three Mazda vehicles, one golf vehicle, five pistols of various models, three AK-47 rifles, ten live cartridges, a locally fabricated rifle, three other 22 rounds of live ammunition of various calibers, 70 mobile phones of different models, 21 laptop computers of different models, one POS machine, one wheel spanner, some pieces of crystal meth, AKIs, these are drugs. Bottles and parts of several other illicit drugs. One black scissors, one Nigeria police beret, one Nigeria police crest, one Nigeria police training manual, one pair of Nigeria police sergeant rank, one pair of Nigeria police badge, one Nigeria police t-shirt, one Nigeria police desert boots, four pairs of Nigeria police complete uniform recovered from a suspect, and many other exhibits on display today. The first case we're going to have today arrest of suspected one chance and the robbers. You know, in recent times we've been having some of these cases, and it's a good story and good news for our people most especially in the Federal Capital Territory. For us to have 12 of them with us here, their stories are very, very interesting. I've, I've marked some of them that will come out to talk to you. Some of them are still uh, having trials in court. They are built, they are back again. Some of them are ICT experts who still go further to hack some of our gadgets and our platforms and information where they are able to actually siphon people's money and do uh, unsuspecting Nigerians. We have 12 of them. Can we please have them rise to their feet? <laughs> We talked and he was able to fix the car. So I know of his own person that uh, was, he was a driver before. So he was doing this taxi driver. And um, so I told him that. So How do you operate? Okay, so we, it's three of us the driver, one person at the front, and one at the back side. So we, uh, I think we need to have about seven, six, seven. That's why we go out and uh, probably start driving the car around. So if you see somebody, you just pick the person. But mostly, our victims are females. Sir. Your victims are mostly female. Yes, sir. Gentlemen of the press, they are not in the same syndicate. Just have you carried out? I will be have carried out up to 25 officials, sir. Within the Federal Capital Territory? Yes, sir. Which school? The um, State University, sir. The State University? Yes, sir. What are you sorry? Library and information science, sir. Library and information story. So what do you want to tell Nigerians and people that are looking at you and those who are still in this dirty business? What advice do you have for them? Well, my advice to the youth that uh, are probably doing the same thing, honestly, it doesn't pay. Yes, it doesn't pay at all. Because definitely, no matter how hard you think you can hide, or you can run, definitely you can not hide. So I'm um, really apologizing to people that have offended because you please find a place in the house to forgive me. And I promise I will never do it again, sir. Okay, that's all right. Stay there. I'm from Nigeria, local government area of Enugu State. You're from Enugu State? Yes, sir. Where do you live? I live here in Abuja. Since, since when have you come to Abuja? Um, what's your own role in this business? What do you do? How do you operate? The, bio, the operational biocode that they use in the one chance activity uh, and the one that wants it. 
You bought a vehicle for them? Yes, sir. For the operation? Yes, Just sir. one. How many vehicles all together have you bought for them? Just one. I, I was using it personally. So okay, go ahead. Tell us how you operate and your involvement. Um, um, I'm the person that buy the stolen items, the, the, the recover, and I'm the receiver. And you are the receiver of what they recover from the, from the operations? The phones. The phones, majorly the phones. Yes, sir. And the laptops, and and the la and the ele laptop electronics and the... Yes, sir. Okay, so how, what do you do with them? So, uh, I sell them. Um, uh, most of them are uh, like the Android. I do alter the IMM. How do you alter the IMM? It's by software. Computer. Software. You design it yourself? No, sir. It's purchased online. Okay, so go I, ahead. I alter the IMM. Sell them, and the ones that cannot, that cannot be able to be offered is sold, uh, sold by parts. Okay. Yes, sir. I was told. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So you are so knowledgeable in ICT. Yes, sir. You gain your experience and your knowledge in the wrong direction. Why? Mm -hmm. uh, you know, you know that these items are actually stolen items. No, sir. You know? Yes, sir. So, can you tell us how many items have you received so far? Five phones, laptops. Can you just give us a raw estimate, the number of those items you have received from them so far? I've received, uh, I've received uh, more than 200 phones and laptops. In numbers, in hundreds. How many shops do you no. operate? Just one shop, sir. Where? At Tuesday Market. So you say people who know you now, they know you? Yes, sir. And how do you feel now that you are popular with all them in this, in this manner? Uh, it's not a good thing at all. Because, because, uh, because you, have, you, have, you, are, you are knowledgeable, you are educated. With your business, you can still make ends meet. You are going to live fine. Yes, sir. So what, what warranted you to this and you venture to this dirty business that is causing embarrassment to you and to your people? What do you do to the SIM cards of those phones stolen and brought to you? Uh, at the point, uh, I've, I've tried and, uh, uh, to remove uh, the money inside the SIM. So the money, call credit, or which money? Uh, uh, money in the bank account. Of the people too? Yes, you hack into the account to get some information, you hack to the account and you siphon their money. Yes. How do you do it? Uh, it's, by, it's by someone. I'm not... I'm, BVN. I'm not, you use your BVN or what? Uh, yes, both BVN. How do you get your BVN? It's by dialing the code on the same. On the same? Yes, sir. Yes. Anyway, yeah, 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 gentlemen of the press and to all Nigerians, you see the way some of them operate. But at the gate, they are going to stop you. Come, don't come and attack any of our men here. Come politely, respect them, they will respect you. Just come and tell them at the gate that you want to come and check whether your phone is here or not. And if you have any challenge or challenges, please call the First Populations Department office. We have our numbers out. You chat to us have any issue. But I can assure you, we are inviting you now to come and check your phones. We have recovered hundreds of phones eh, from them. And we have those that have not been claimed. So come around to come and claim your phones. Remember the year you came to Abuja? I came to Abuja, I remember in 1998. 1998. Yes, sir. You have to be a chief, a traditional title over here, and you are talking something else in Abuja. When did you join this business? One year. You started on your own or somebody to I I You did it with somebody, sir. Somebody. Who is the person? He's no more. He disappeared or he died. He died, sir. What killed him? It's police. In robbery, I've been a one chance robbery. Or kidnapping? No, it's one chance. Sir. It's one chance again. Yes, sir. And you still continued with that business when you need somebody. 
mm. has been killed. It has been long time, right? Not due to just last year. Sorry. Oh, that's why, that's why I was even told that's why you are caught. Because that person fell. And that's why you are caught. How many operations have you done? Without him or with him? Yes, sir, without him, sir. Without him, how many? Yes, sir, about uh, 12 times, sir. How many are your members? The members of your gang, how many are they? Just three, sir. Three? How do you operate, tell us? For just three, I drive. In particular, I drive. Just three, which is like my own partner in Abuja. You know, they just can time. Then I'll just go to you. I'll get your phone or your ATM card, sir. Phone or ATM? Yes, sir. Why do you always target their phones and their ATM cards? Because on the phone, sir, you see the person's bank account, whether the person has money or not, sir. Where, where, where were you arrested? I was arrested at day day, sir. Day day? Yes, sir. How? After the work, sir, the court was to you call who? Let us hear you. The receiver of mobile phone too. Okay, you call the receiver. So you are actually trying to go and give him some phones you have stolen? Yes, sir. So police arrested you? Yes, sir. Okay. Gentlemen of the press, do you have any information for them? Which this case of miscarriage, which one is the one? Is the one? Oh, they are the one that. Can you tell us the story of that woman police, that pregnant uh, woman so, police? Two of the issues are I, I was the one driving, sir, but I was having my two people at one at the front, one at the back, sir. So I don't really know inside the two of them who did the pity to the woman, sir, because I was the one on the steering, sir. Much I was, I was going to walk. Then. I enter the vehicle, a Mazda vehicle, around as we drive. There were three people inside, three men. One is the driver, one at the passenger seat, and one at the back, where I sat too. So on reaching Nikon Junction, after when they passed Nikon Junction, the driver changed the mode of driving. He started driving very, very fast, and then the one in front bent. You, you mean Nikon Luxury Hotel or which Nikon? No, Nikon Junction. Nikon Around Junction. Gishiri Road. Okay. You know, those years. Then he bent the, the, the back of his seat down and then it affected my legs. Then the other one held me and pressed me down. I Started asking me questions. Where am I going to? What is inside my bag? The other one in front collected my bag and started robbing me immediately and asked me not to look at them. That I should not look at them. But I tried my best in looking, so I can, if I can identify them, I'll be able to identify yeah, them. Don't go there. The driver is huge. <laughs> he is big. Anyway, is the is the dismissed policeman's case now? That's why you said the, the she said the, the driver is huge. I can see the physique of the driver. Yeah. So they started asking me questions. Meanwhile, I lost my mom. It was not even up to a week. I just tried, I said, let me go to work. Let me just go and tell them what's going on. They collected my phone, my mom's phone, everything, the pictures, even her dead body pictures are inside her phone. They collected her power bank. I didn't say anything. They dropped me as Wonderland, opposite one beach like that. They said that- Wonderland should be along yes, city gate side. That was where they dropped me. It, the place they even dropped me. How, how many of them did you meet in the vehicle before you joined them? Three. Men. It, yes. And the that is, them, excuse me, that is to tell you, Nigerians, that what that man, that elderly man said is, when you see three of them, men in the vehicle, don't join them. That is the arrangement. Don't forget this concept. The other concept then was shift, 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 chair. Media approach. Media These are another three men approach. These profile forms. The Commissioner of Police in charge of FCT had provided forms for all our DPOs so that if you want to seek services of any house help, take that person or persons to the nearest police station to you. Let them fill this form. We get some information. 
you work on this information, then you can be safe of employing these people who are your attending staff or employers. The form and adequately detail to give every relevant information about who you are employing into your service. It is free of charge. Get to our stations, pick these forms. It's going to go a long way to help us. So, on behalf of the Inspector General of Police, we want to retreat our commitments to providing adequate security for all our sundry in this country. We will continue in our effort to make sure we decimate activities of these criminal elements who are fond of causing pains, sorrows, and agonies to us in this country. We cannot do it alone. We need your support. The federal government is trying its best possible to make sure we be quit a more secure environment and ecosystem to us in this country that we assist the government agenda in the economy recovery, social integration, and development in all areas in Nigeria. Nigeria has a common heritage, like I always say, play your own part to sustain this country and make sure Nigeria enjoys peaceful environment. Thank you, gentlemen of the press. On the LA, you can see they are all gentle guys. But once on this drug, or once they are drug, is another thing entirely. Ammunition, recover from them, supply all these things to bandit in their hideouts, in their camps, but will take the fights to their hideouts. They use to carry, you think they are carrying normal luggage to travel to abroad? Cover pistols and guns. This one can fire up. No, we ordinary gun. See another innovation? Locally fabricated, like I always tell you. It's looking so beautiful. Our men recover this, you can see it. All of them locally made, you can see this one too. They produce them here. Come and check whether your property is here. Mobile phones, laptops. Electronic gadgets are here. Stolen from innocent Nigerians. You can see them here. Thanks for checking out Symphony on YouTube. Please be sure to subscribe and like our videos for updates.